Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be looking at, uh, at pruning some uh, tropical hibiscus. Uh, it's a very common plant to grow, it's a very easy plant to grow, it's a, it's a heavy feeder so it likes a lot of fertilizer. Um, I've kept this one over winter so it started to get a little bit big, a little stretched in its growth. So uh, I'll show you the plant and what we're looking for and then we'll go ahead and, and prune the plant and uh, the cuttings that you take off of these plants will be perfect to, uh, to uh, propagate and make new baby plants. We'll deal with that in another video. As you can see here we have a, a lovely orange variety of hibiscus. Um, they tend to flower on the, uh, on the new growth, uh, so right at the ends of the buds, or at the end of, of where the leaf is growing, you'll find a bud with every leaf. Um, it's, it's a fantastic trait to these plants, similar to an impatient or any of your other annuals, uh, but also when it comes to pruning time, uh, it also means that you're going to be losing a lot of your buds. So I, uh, I tend to choose to uh, prune these in the springtime. Generally they're not as prolific in flower, and uh, you don't really miss out as much as if you were pruning it in the summertime. Usually you'll be without flowers for maybe two or three weeks minimum, um, so you don't really want to waste the time on your on your porch with no buds. So anyway, we'll do this. Again, it's early spring. Let's look here. Along the stem, I'm not sure if you could see here. Um, here's a yellow leaf. Let's pull that out. Along the stem, there are, are little um, little nodes here that are are just lying dormant. So what you'll do is you'll end up cutting these plants back, and and you'll leave some of these dormant buds, as you can see right here. And uh, once you cut this back, these buds will become active. So right now we have one one uh, nice tall stem. You'll cut that back five or six inches, and then all of a sudden, instead of having one branch with uh, one set of flowers, you're going to see um, maybe four or five of these small branches take its place, which will in turn give you a bushier plant and uh, a lot more flowers. So <clears throat> each season you'd want to do a little bit of a pruning. If you want a big plant, you obviously don't want to prune it back too much, but uh, you want to you want to make it so that it uh, it sends out new uh, new growth. More flowers is always better. This stem here, it's about 10 inches long above my fingers. As you can see, if you go back to the older wood, um, there are smaller nodes that are trying to grow, but because the dominant growth is up at the top, these ones can't, can't get the energy that it needs. doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's the way the plants seem to work. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get to the cutting process. All right, so I've got my pruners. Uh, they've been cleaned, uh, sterilized. I don't sterilize throughout the season, but it, first thing in the year I, I, I definitely do. And if I do work with a plant that, that obviously has a, an issue, I, I will sterilize it then. But if everything's healthy, I, I tend to not bother. Probably bad habit, but I do it. I haven't had too many problems, so I'm not gonna change too quickly. So I'm gonna take uh, these long stems, and like I showed you earlier, I'm going to cut it back to just above one of the one of the nodes that was starting to grow. Um, so you get a nice a nice uh, cutting that will that will happen out of this in another video. Okay, so I'll cut this back. This is a nice long cutting. Sometimes it hurts to cut these things back so far, but uh, you're just going to benefit the plant uh, by doing so. Like I said, the more, the more little growth tips you have, the more flowers you're going to have. And that's ultimately what the goal is with hibiscus. I actually planted um, two hibiscus in this pot. There is The, the tallest one is a pink variety. Uh, we don't have any flowers on it at the moment. And then uh, I have the orange variety. They were actually on sale at my local garden center and uh, they were $4.99 a piece, and uh, that's a steal. Generally, they're around $14.99 or higher. So I, I scooped up as many as I could fit in a pot, and uh, it looks beautiful when they, when they intermingle together. 
Um, you get pink and orange. I wish I was able to fit more in this pot, like I said. And this this plant here, uh, it, it I have a feeling for some reason this one was uh, deprived of water uh, in the earlier uh, stages last season. Uh, one of them was getting the water. It's more luscious and more lush in its growth, um, but this one tends to be a little bit lanky, uh, kind of stunted. It's uh, doesn't look as good. So I'm not going to prune this one back as much. Just a little bit here and a little bit there, just to just to promote branching down lower because it is a little bit uh, bare down below. And with this one, I'm just I'm basically just cutting off the uh, the growth tip. I don't want to take too much. The other one was a much stronger plant, and it had all kinds of nodes down below that that were looking uh, healthy. This one, this one, not so much. It's everything is near the top, so I'll I'll let it do what it does. And again, I'm cutting off all the flower buds. So um, if this year you don't want to cut off everything, you can you could do like a periodic um, pruning. Um, start now do like a third of the plant, um, those will start blooming later on, say in another two or three weeks, um, when the, the new growth starts on the ones that you've trimmed, the buds will start to form. Uh, at that point, start going to the other ones. Uh, that way you should have a continuous bloom. You can actually prune like that all through the season without any, any problems. So anyway, this plant is all nice and pruned. Um, I'm going to water it and give it a good fertilizer. Um, a 20-20-20 is, is, uh, is what I generally use um, and I will be feeding this heavily through the, uh, through the growth season. Um, at the moment it doesn't need as strong of fertilizer, it's just starting to wake up. So um, yeah, anyway, happy, uh, happy gardening and uh, hope your hibiscus uh, turns out beautiful this year. Thanks.